Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Willardson, and today we'd like to go over another case. Um, this is a situation where, you know, a lot of times life comes at comes at us, and um, we maybe we get into a situation where we've neglected our mouth, or we've kind of. Um, I see this quite often, where a patient they they get to the point where they're just like, you know what? Why even brush? You know, I'm missing so many teeth. I've got so many broken teeth. Uh, you know, I need so much work, you know, why even try? And, and this is very common, I see this all the time. And this is exactly what happened with this gentleman here. And you can see what's going on. He's missing his central incisors, lateral incisor, uh, the teeth are all over the place, lots of debris, lots of, you know, bacteria on these teeth, periodontal, notice that tissue is just fire inflamed, it's very red, and so, you know, this guy was just kind of like, you know what, I give up, what am I going to do, you know, so, and that's, that's exactly what, what happened, but once he sought out treatment and, and really went, uh, you know, came in for a consultation and talked about, okay, well, what can I do? I mean, I've kind of given up on my smile, I've given up, certainly on my smile, but I've given up on my mouth completely. Is there any hope for me? And I hear this all the time, you know, they're like, Dr. Willardson, is this the worst you've ever seen? And well, I'm like, nope, not really. <laughs> I've seen a lot worse. So, um, but let's take a look at this case because he was pretty down and out. And, and you'll notice uh, just, there's just some, you know, broken teeth, missing teeth, old fillings, periodontal disease. He's got a lot of stuff going on that we had to deal with. And um, so this is the upper jaw, and then here's the lower. Same thing happening on the lower. And um, we got to the point where like, okay, we're gonna have to just take all these teeth out. And usually, because they've been through so many traumatic experiences, for example, this, you know, he would tell me the extractions that he's had in the past were so horrendous that he just was deathly afraid to go to the dentist to even deal with this. And really that's the root cause, that's the underlying cause of patients who have this situation. It's usually fear-based. And the neglect comes because they have lost hope. And so um, the beauty of it is, is there's so much hope in this situation. And when I look at his, when I first met him and I looked at his CT scan and his x-rays, and I'm just like, oh man, this is gonna be so great. So, um, but take a look at his after photo and you know what it just completely the, this problem is now solved he is uh, no longer concerned about his the, the way it looks and guess what he brushes and flosses and maintains his teeth better than anybody and why is that why did he go from a situation like this where it's like oh my gosh what is going on here complete neglect to um, to this situation where now, all of a sudden, he maintains, he brushes, he flosses, he does everything he needs to do. And it's because he feels better about himself. Now, all of a sudden, he's got confidence. He has pride in his smile. He has pride in, in, in what's going on in his mouth. And so, as a result, he won't go back to that situation where he just kind of get given up and, and not want, willing or wanting to do anything to try to maintain his mouth. And so... Um, you know, so my advice is if you're in this situation and if it's fear driven, if you are, you know, you've been, you've spent plenty of time in the dental chair and you've had some traumatic experiences, you know, give us a call because we do all of our cases under general anesthesia. So you're asleep completely during the entire procedure. And, you know, and it's a situation where it's not just me giving the patient some propofol or some drugs and trying to do the work. You know, we have a board certified anesthesiologist on staff that's here with me and us in every single procedure. So the environment, you know, not to mention, you know, our, the surgery center is a JCO certified surgery center. So we take all the necessary precautions so that our patients can comfortably go to sleep and wake up with a new smile. I'm Dr. Willardson and thanks for watching.